I'm having a spiritual unfolding lately. I've been kind of getting rid of certain things and doing more things and getting back into certain things. Um, I want to catch you up with that, but I, I want to preface it to just say that I just had a, a baptism. I did pour water on his head with my son. It's just, we just did it. We put on a candle. He was banging, reminding me, apparently. Now he's holding up the Bible in the air all on his own. All on his own. I swear. He's just rolling around on the Bibles and holding them in the air now. Seems really happy. Really good spirits. He liked it. He definitely, he took well to that. But we just did a baptism and um, just makeshift my own kind of words. I didn't mean to have it happen. It just kind of happened. I was doing chakra work with him, which I feel like is good. And just kind of opening up his chakras and stuff and his balance and his giving him affirmations and stuff. And then it led to this sort of like baptism of kind of like in the name of Christ, in the name of Holy Spirit, in the name of God, on behalf of my child, because it's his free will, he has to understand it one day on his own, to, if that's his choice. But just for what I can do on behalf of me, I, I hand over my my child to the Trinity and hopefully in the entirety of his life that that will stick if he's willing and I pray for his willingness to be able to accept that um, to allow God and the Holy Spirit and Christ into your life and navigate you away from the, the perils and the and the unnecessary depths and just heal and protect you and live in the in and when I poured the water on his head, I just, I was like bathing the blood of the lamb. Live in the blood of the lamb. It's powerful magic. And, um, and then I did that for myself. I mean, it didn't, it just kind of put water throughout my hair like this. And, um, I have been somewhat marked before. It's not official. Um, but I don't, you know, how do you know the spiritual validity of what takes and what doesn't? I don't know, but I've had uh, people have done this with oils on my forehead. Um, one the powerful psychic who predicted a lot of Star Wars, like to a scary degree of accuracy, like crazy, like crazy, crazy amounts of stuff. And um, and I've had people pray over me. I've had people sort of put hands on me, sort of. I mean, I've had it happen, it just wasn't an official thing. And I've had it um, where I say the words about accepting Christ and, and the way that you guys say that when you surrender. I've surrendered many times in my own mind with my own words, but but in the official Christian way, I've had that. But makeshift. I think when you're chaos magic prone, don't freak out, look up what it means. It just means when you're doing things like spells or, or blessings I mean it's really we're talking the same thing in a lot of ways um, so if you use light magic we are it's really though and um, and um, I don't know just doing the evocation of the Holy Spirit to evoke the Holy Spirit. Wow, that's a powerful magic. So, on behalf of Old King and I, evoke the Holy Spirit um, into us, into our vessel throughout our lives powerfully, like a tsunami of its muchness. <laughs> okay, and that felt good. And, um, and then I'll make another tape just to kind of catch you up on where I am spiritually because I know there's been weirdness on that.